you see it from other people. The punishment of the great that would have been this man as the Hadith says. He was the leader of the ensemble. Just before the battle of battle, when they were about to meet a powerful, much greater, larger, and better equipped Meccan infidel army, pagan army, the devil's army, but it was powerful in might, powerful in assets, in power, in animals, in strength. Just before they met this Meccan pagan army, huge army, Sa'ad reinforced the confidence in Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He reinforced the strength, making him aware, Ya Rasulullah, we are with you. We stand only for Allah. We fight only for Allah. We live only for Allah. We die only for Allah. Ya Rasulullah, we have believed in you, affirmed your prophethood, pledged our allegiance, our obedience to you. Go forward. What lie by Allah who has sent you as a messenger? I said to him, if you were to command us to jump into the ocean, we would all do that. Not one man will stay behind. Not where the soul will stay behind full submission to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. These are the soldiers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Reinforcing the confidence, the strength, the iman and taqwa in Allah. We are not fighting for dunya. We are fighting for Allah, Ya Rasulullah. Can you imagine the strength in that? Can you imagine the smile on the greatest man's face when he heard this. This is again love, faith and taqwa, obedience. Can you imagine that? If you heard God of Allah, Abu Bakr said this. I don't think you will say this. Again today, we've got people who claim, who claim they are claimants. Of Black and the Rasulullah, Allah, they're liars. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They're liars. When you tell them a narration in Bukhari or Muslim, they'll say, but my shaykh said this. When you tell them, go and stay. The sunnah of Rasulullah, the sunnah of my shaykh, how he lived it. 